Productions. Just had a big black ring for any weather that cries she and I will not touch it out like real. <laughs> Is that they let me touch it like this? How they let me touch it? Don't even touch it. I find it tragic. Jump off a body, start to go and start to panic. Sit down on body, say you keep on static. Say she loves the body, now put that on top of love it. Beat the body, say that I'm leaking like a boss. It like a rifle, it's like a rocket. Jump it, 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 jump it. It's your boy Mr. Punch in TV here, bringing you the hottest news in and around Trinidad and Tobago music circuit. Well, as we all know, in my last video, the hot topic was about the most trending soca dancehall artist, Trinidad Killer, Mr. Gunman in your hole, leaking a recorded phone call he had with the owner of Question Mark Entertainment and now creative director of the 2020 Soca Mona, Mr. Simon Batiste. By now, we all know the direction that recording went. But Trinidad Killer has since apologized to Mr. Batiste on national television on a live interview, yes, live, with Hima Maraj on CNC3 Tuesday morning. Now, prior to this, the popular entertainer has been vocal on various radio stations lashing out at critics, saying people in Trinidad and Tobago are hypocrites because of public scrutiny over his dancehall song, Gunman in Your Hole. People didn't like how it is being played in carnival events and parties, you know? He also mentioned that it's time for the local market to revolutionize and even said soca music is losing essence. It's no doubt that he has the most trending soca as a new breakthrough artist in 2020 and he was very smart to combine the Zessin culture into soca, you know, because people was heavily scrutinizing it because of the raw, raw lyrics and the raw lifestyle. You know, Zessin lifestyle is more ghetto gangster kind of style, which is being portrayed by the dancehall artists. So, you know, people don't really favor it. But to me, honestly, I think he was very, very smart and intelligent to combine that into soca. Now as for Gunman in your hole, let me just see the feedback he gets when he performs live at an event. Take a look at a couple of clippings. People, let it be real now. Let it be real. Performance, I gave him a 10 out of 10. 10 as the highest. I don't know about all you. But if all you want to rate him, drop your ratings in the comments below and let me know how you guys rate him. 10 out of 10. Now let me go back to your apology. Yes, he apologized for the leaking of the recorded phone call 
But get this, he denies leaking the recorded phone call. Yes, he did. He also questioned the selection process for 2020 Soka Monarch semis and explained why his reason for all that he said and his actions. So, you know, he moved a little way and he started to dig off. And, you know, when he was explaining himself, he become a little emotional. Now, watch the interview and hear it from the man himself. So let's talk a little bit about the leaked voice note. Yeah, well... So, let me first yeah. ask you, did you leak the voice note? No. Okay. What do you think was the purpose of this voice note being put out in the public domain? Sometimes I believe something does have to happen for something to happen. Do you understand? So you benefited the most from this voice note being leaked? Because people started taking notice of it. Yes, that is that is simply opening up the people's eyes and letting people see what's taking place in the industry because I can't understand. I have a tune on the top 20 in Soka, in Trinidad and Tobago, topping charts in Canada, New York. When you look on YouTube, 270 something thousand views. And you telling me these people who they put into Soka Mona. When you go on YouTube and watch this song, 5,000 views, 6,000 views, 7,000 views. Remember, Soka Monarch is a competition where I take in my money and pay in my money to register. So i looking for fair results. At the point in time, I was acting off of emotions because I was a very emotional person knowing that after 17 years, I go through so hard to think on a final. I always watch Soka Monarch as a platform, a stage that I always want to be on. This year, I come with a good tune and... I was hoping to be in the semi-finals, but you know, sometimes a man doesn't think about what he's doing Do you at the spur of the moment. But I went to my listen back the voice note and realized that I was wrong and the judge's decision is final. You know, so I call Simon Batista and apologize to him and tell him I'm very sorry. I am sincerely apologizing from the bottom of my heart. I feel I don't want to part of no competition again in my career, you know? My whole mission is to stand up and give the youths and them an opportunity because nobody not doing it. Nobody not doing it. They have so much talent in Trinidad and Tobago. People that's... So Trinidad Killer apologized people. Yes, he apologized. And to me, he did the adult thing and said he was sorry. And his reasons and his actions and even his words are kind of understandable from his side being so driven to remain focused on trying for 17 years, as he said, following his dream. And when it actually looks like it was going to happen, they blank him. You know, they just deny him one time. So I don't know about all here, but I give him credit for your move, boy. Now, since this apology and emotionally revealing he don't want no part whatsoever of competition ever again in his musical career, it is rumored, get this, hear the rumors, he was offered to be a guest performer in the finals of the Soka Monarch card for Carnival Friday, as we all know, is Fantastic Friday. Now, if you want to hear more about that story, look out for my next video. Soon come. Now, don't forget, people, to drop your ratings in the comment section down below. And rate Trinidad Killer as a performer, and don't forget to like and subscribe and click that notification bell. So every time I upload something, all you get a heads up and all you can view it. All you have to wait. So this is me, Mr. Punchin TV. And I got to say thanks for watching, thanks for viewing, and a blessed day to all. And remember, we were born to love and we learn to hate. More life. Let's see this side, yeah! Are you ready? Seven! What money is yours?